Welcome to the Chateau de Lalande, a 16th century chateau in the heart of France. Join us each day of Advent as we get this 19 bedroom home ready for Christmas. We'll be cooking, decorating and discovering Christmas traditions from all over the world. Welcome to Christmas at Lalande. Merry Christmas, everyone. I can't believe after this huge Advent series of videos and all the preparations, all the decorations, we're all finally here. Everybody is around the table. I'm so happy to see all of you here. Thank you for joining us every step of our preparations. It has been so much fun sharing it with you all. And last year I didn't film on Christmas Day, but I thought we'd do a little extra video on Christmas Day today so that you can join in our celebrations a bit and actually see us using all of the things that we've been preparing. The table is laid, we're about to pull the crackers. And throughout the day, I filmed some of our Christmas celebrations from our gift opening this morning in the winter salon, which is a tradition, we always do it in there. Through us cooking in the kitchen in the afternoon, we're pretty much all in the kitchen preparing for dinner. And I can't quite believe that it is finally ready and we're sitting down for the prawn cocktail that we always start with. Christmas emergency. <laughs> when the turkey doesn't fit into the biggest oven, you just saw it when Amory saw. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas tip number 35. <laughs> it's a, it's a born. Okay. Now, whatever we do, well don't tell Amory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to clean it. Oh, gosh. What is that beast? <laughs> Michael had to saw the legs off for it to fit in the oven. Yeah, yeah but that was one of the questions if it was going to fit in the oven. It didn't. Oh my god. Absolutely. Amazing. <laughs> Socks as well. Oh, you really thought the outfit all the way through. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, oh, well, oh yeah. Yeah. everyone! Yeah. Layers! <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, it's a land girl! It is a land girl! <laughs> I love it, Sabina. You always look amazing. Thank you. I'm just happy that you know, I did not make the promise of also dressing up. I promised you I'd be in a dressing gown, and I'm in a dressing gown. You, you might just have won the dressing gown competition. Right? <laughs> it's so good. It's the most cozy thing I have. It's fantastic. And it has pockets. Wow. I mean, what a thing. What a. And I can just sit in it and just be like. <laughs> No, it's really great. It's really warm. I'm in charge of sauces this morning, so mm -hmm. bread sauce. So all we've got <gasps> I here. I love bread sauce. Do oh, you hear that, Touchy Nuts? Come <laughs> on to the clan. Touchy Nuts said I don't need to make it. No one likes it. It turns out that you, Amory, and I all love it. Onions started with cloves, and that's going to be just uh, sitting and infusing the milk. And then at the last minute, we make the sauce. And over here, I'm making two cranberry sauces because it's got orange juice in. Philip okay. can't have orange, so I'll be without orange. And Tonton Stephen has been making all this perfectly chopped red onion to go into it. <laughs> and grating the ginger. Uh, when I see you with a bottle of champagne, Michael, I know it's Christmas. <laughs> Every time Michael's here, it's Christmas. <laughs> And you liaised with the elves, Michael. I, I did, I did. Look at that. The stockings are all ready for everyone. I beg your pardon. <laughs> now we're having panettone, mince pies, mimosas, and we're about to open all of the gifts together. Well, it's not gonna look like this for long because we are about to dig in. The moment that I've been waiting for for ages has arrived. Oh, we're gonna have the panettone. And look at this. It somehow Dolce Gabbana knew that our theme was pink this year. <laughs> I don't know who gave them the memo. I sent them an email. Thank you. Colin. You're welcome. Thank you. But this is really exciting because it's not just the panettone. There's also the glue. The glue. The glue. <laughs> panettone goo. goo. It's a cream of manna. What's manna? Do you know? Manna. Mm. M A double N A. Mm. No. <laughs> it's what God kept the Israelites alive for. In the desert. It's mannitol powder with manna. That's in English, and I still don't know what it is. <clears throat> well, we'll find out. Uh, Mystery goo. Mystery goo. Oh, what's in here? Maybe you're saying it in the wrong manner. Oh, oh and so Christmas is truly bigger. Ooh. <laughs> 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 this is my favorite thing. Look, 
golden mystery goo knife. <laughs> Perfect. So I'll pop that into the mystery goo. And let's get into this kind of thing. It's um, Sicilian hazelnut panettone with mystery goo. Michael, can I interest you in some panettone and goo? There you go, let us know how that goes. How that goes. <laughs> I know, it wouldn't, be, you. it wouldn't be Christmas without him doing that. all of the case to punish you. The naughty elves have left the stockings in a very, very silly place. So poor Maria and Philip having some difficulty getting them down this year. I recognise that name. Yeah. <laughs> you Thank know you. <laughs> Natty, looks as though you're next. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you. That's so lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Ah. Michael's is absolutely stranded. Looks as though the elves might not be able to get to Michael's. Yeah! Well done, elves! The pillows have been a huge success. <laughs> no, Christmas Day is ending before it even started. Look at the Look at this. It's really cute, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to take it upstairs, not to be. Uh, that is so Can you believe that's definitely yeah. like yeah. Oh my god. Just so happy you like it. <laughs> Can I just say that I spent quite a lot of time preparing for Christmas and my wrapping today. <laughs> The wheels have come off. The wheels have come off. There was no time. But it really stands out from all of the rest. But oh, you found your. They're heated. I know. I love them. I use the same wrapping paper to wrap Phillips, and that was at three o'clock this morning. Oh my goodness! And I'd lost all. Will to live. Will to live. I was still editing. As badly as that. Oh my god. Oh, that's beautiful. That is a beautiful set. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Store. And I freaked out over this because it was so creepy yeah. and uncanny and just like, ugh. And I loved it. <laughs> and they were like, no, that's disgusting. Don't get it. And then I, you know, I was like, okay, fine. And then I had a little cry and then I moved on. And then I came back and it was gone. And I was like, who would want this? Who got that? Right and they sneakily me? bought it for you. <laughs> So, Can I see that is deeply creepy. <laughs> Steven, I love it. Thank you. Interesting. Very nice. Interesting and very nice. So, that's true. You're just enjoying um, burning all of the wrapping paper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel connected to it. You're wearing, you're like me, you wear all your presents the minute they arrive. <gasps> what about your new I sunglasses? Should, should the sunglasses yeah, let's well. see the sunglasses. Yes. There we go. That's the final look. That's the final look. That's present, the Christmas look. Present for my parents, sunglasses on the 25th of December. <laughs> I've always wanted a pair of Ray Bans. So or, or now, because of Dan, you had to have some, didn't you? Yeah, but I've always wanted a pair of aviators, and I told him I've always wanted a pair of aviators. Yeah. So I guess I said, I can't get some, because then everybody think I'll be copying you. And now you've got them. But they're not aviators. I, well, I don't know what these are, but they're lovely. Yeah, they're nice. I really like them. They're different. They've got like blue yeah. on the frame. No, they're gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, I need to get the fire going again. Everyone's having a post-present nap, and Tonton, Steve and I have snuck in uh, because he's basting yeah, yeah. and i'm breathing the breathing the wine <laughs> and basting yes. the turkey it looks That's amazing perfect yep you know well. how to cook a turkey Tom <laughs> Stephen. steven i know we just put a little over hmm i've just made sage and onion stuffing with pork and I'm about to make parmesan crusted parsnips. Maria's making Brussels sprouts and agave syrup. And my uncle has just put a lot of goose fat into the oven for the roast potatoes. Throw it away. I was just getting ready for dinner when Michael said, look outside, he sent me a text. And look, I've looked out of my window and this is what he's done. He has surrounded the fountain and the front of the box hedging with little paper lanterns that we were sent in Caddo at the Chateau. It is so so beautiful and he's just been getting on with it no one knew what he was doing oh it looks amazing so we brought all of the flowers back and the nativity is out it's wonderful 
We always have prawn cocktail to start and unwittingly realise that we've made a pink starter to go with everything else. It hasn't always been easy this December getting everything ready. There were some things happening that I didn't talk about at the time because I didn't want to worry any of you in the lead up to Christmas. But I can now tell everybody, because my mother is completely recovered and very well, that for much of December, mummy has had COVID. And so as you can imagine, when I first heard about it, I was so, so worried because Percy refused to quarantine from my mother. He insisted on quarantining with her and we weren't that happy about that because we were worried about both of them. I offered to fly out so that I could look after my mother and quarantine with her, but Percy flatly refused. And in the early days, we were all extremely worried. I know my aunts and uncle were as well. My mother had gone into hospital for her routine five-year cancer checkup because decades ago she had cancer. She's been perfectly well ever since, but every five years she has a checkup and that's when she caught it. And on the day that she found out that she had it, she phoned me and told me, and she was so scared that I would be worried that she decided to reassure me by sending a video of herself singing a Provençal hymn. And I will share that video with all of you now because I think you'll know why when I watched it, I just burst into tears. As a child, we always went to midnight mass and there, there was a little Occitan um, uh, song we used to sing on at the midnight mass and you know Occitan is uh, the ancient language of the Languadoc the, and Occitania it was a way of saying yes it was Oc in Occitan in fact it was a very important language because Dante wrote the divine comedy in Occitan and um, it was um, it, it is considered a, a language because of the amount of uh, literature written in it. The troubadours were uh, writing in Occitan and uh, singing in Occitan. So it is a language which, of course, hardly ever spoken of now. But um, in my childhood, there were still people speaking Occitan and uh, elderly people usually, but we under all the children understood it. So that's about Occitania. But um, that tiny little uh, uh, hymn to Jesus being born that day and bringing hope to the world is what we sang all the time. So I'll try to sing it to you. Not very good. <laughs> Un divin infant che plura sa mai, che tutto implora, implora su un pai. Mon Dio, oh mon Dio, che sei mobile. In cor. Ah, that's good worried sick when I saw it but she is completely recovered and not only that but she was well enough to go and buy all of the buckets that she does every year with Percy and they go and distribute them to homeless people in South Africa. So we'll happily surveying the first 14 buckets that are ready for delivery. We've got the Christmas card. Yes inside is a little message. Yes. But this year, there was extra special good news because she and Percy for years now have been going to the same shops to buy the buckets and to buy all of the food inside. And both of those shops this year have told my mother and Percy that they thought it was such a great initiative that they've started doing it themselves and they've asked their clients and customers if they want to buy food for the buckets, they're providing the buckets for free. And so this thing that mummy and Percy started has become bigger and bigger and bigger. The mummy still thinks that she does the best buckets. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is time for me to join all of the others. And I think time for us to have the champagne of the evening. So let's go over and crack open the bottle. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the champagne that Andrew and Ricardo sent to us when Philip and I told everybody that we were together. And they sent this in celebration of love at the chateau. Mm -hmm. And as many of you guessed, there are a couple of other people who should be celebrating love at the chateau because indeed, Amory and Natty are together and have been since the first week 
You it's met, almost was it? four months. It's almost four months. Four months. <laughs> <laughs> so I think you need to come up here and open this bottle. Oh, I'm so <laughs> great. Love the chateau. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Is it on your face? It's my own, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, beautifully done. Ooh, wow. So who's first? <laughs> well, I, yeah, I can't do this one handed. I will give this to your parents. I would like to make a few toasts. Firstly, to Natty and Amory. I couldn't be happier. I know that my aunt and uncle feel exactly the same way. It's just one huge family now at the Chateau and it's wonderful. Also, to Mummy and Percy, you gave us quite a scare. I wish you could be with us. I'm so relieved that you are well. And also to Michael's mother, Judy, who was supposed to be with us today, but couldn't come because of the borders closing with COVID. We wish that you were with us too. And to all of you who have followed all of our preparations and been with us every step of the way yeah. to Christmas. Merry Christmas to all of you. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.